Okay, today I'm going to be showing you what it looks like if you were to shine a 5,000 milliwatt laser into your eye. And I'm going to be showing you what this looks like by shining the laser directly into a camera and seeing what happens to the camera. Now, if you've ever looked directly at a bright colored light or used a camera to film it, you might have noticed something weird that happens. So I have here three different colored light bulbs. One's green, one's red, one's blue. Okay, so to start off, I have my aperture at 8.0 and my shutter speed at 16,000, which means I'm only letting in a little bit of light. So you can see these light bulbs look very clear, blue, red, and green. But then watch this weird thing that happens as I increase the shutter speed, meaning that I'm letting in more and more light into the camera sensor. Okay, I'm at a shutter speed of 16,000, 13,000, 10,000, 8,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, 1,300, 800, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. And now I'm at a shutter speed of 30. It's getting harder to tell the difference between right in the middle of the light bulb, this light bulb, this one, and this one. The red's a little bit easier to tell, but the blue and the green are starting to look very similar in the middle. Now, going even further, as I decrease the aperture, meaning I'm opening up the hole in the camera to let in even more light, watch what happens. So now I'm at an aperture of 2.8. So I'm letting in a lot more light now into the sensor compared to what it was before. And you'll notice that it's really hard to tell the difference between blue, red, and green light now on screen. This should be a little concerning to you because what's weird about this is now on the camera, it's telling you that what used to be blue light is now white, and what used to be red light is now white, and what used to be green light is now white. So somehow, when lights get really bright, they all just start to look white. And if you don't believe me that these are becoming the same color, let me now increase the exposure even more. And you can see that everything now is just white. So it's just this blob of white here. What used to be separate colors is now white. Now why does this happen? Why is it that when you have a really bright light of any color, it begins to look white on camera? And does it translate over to our eyes also? If we see any color of light that's really bright, does it look white? Well, one way we might explain this is that these lights are not really red, green, and blue lights. They actually just have a pigment overlaying the glass here, and that pigment is only letting red light through. It's blocking everything else. And so it might not be a perfect pigment, so if you're letting enough light through, then maybe it's just enough white light coming through it that it absorbs in the sensor in the camera, and that's why the camera can see white light when it's really bright. But we can test that by using a monochromatic light source. So for example, I can use my low pressure sodium vapor lamp that only emits one specific wavelength of light and see if we turn that up really bright if it still looks white on camera. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so here's my low pressure sodium light bulb at a very high frame rate. And that's because it's only letting off this specific wavelength of light, nothing else. There's no white light coming off it at all. So now let's increase the exposure and see what color this looks like. So right now it's this yellowish orange, but as I increase the exposure, and now it just gets wider and wider and wider. So now right in the middle where this light is, now it's completely white. So there has to be something else besides saying that there's white light getting into the camera. So what's actually happening here is not that there's white light getting through to the camera, but it has to do with the camera sensor itself. In order for a camera to know what kind of light is reaching it, it would have to have different types of light sensors that know when there's red light, green light, or blue light reaching it. But actually any type of photosensitive circuit is reactive to any color of light. So it doesn't matter what color of light hits it, as long as there's any light that hits it, it will create an electrical signal. And so in order to detect different types of colors, they have to filter out the light and they put filters over those individual pixels. They put red filters, green filters, and blue filters. And so if the sensor behind the red filter senses light, it knows it's red light because it's blocking blue and green. 
And if the sensor behind the green light senses light, then it knows it's green light because it's blocking blue and red. And so the specific sensor in the camera uses these color filters with light sensors behind them to know what light is reaching the camera. But these filters aren't perfect and they don't block out everything. So that means that the red filter doesn't actually block out every single blue and green light. There's a little bit of blue and green that gets through the red filter. And so that means that if you have a bright enough red light, it's going to trigger blue, green, and red sensors because it's going to get a little bit through the filters. But if you have enough bright light, then it's gonna get through all the filters and it's gonna trigger all the light sensors no matter what color they are. And so you end up triggering all, triggering all the red, green, and blue. And so you see white light on the camera. And so that means on a camera, any color of light that's bright enough will just look white. But is that the same for our eyes also? For our eyes, if there's a bright enough color of light, will it just look white to us? Well, the answer is most likely yes. Now, it's hard to tell this because in order to get bright enough light, you kind of have to injure your eye. So even though the color cones in our eyes that are responsible for our color vision, they're not very easy to saturate, meaning that we can tell different shades of even really bright light. But eventually those cones will also saturate. So if you get really bright light of any color, even we see white light. So that means that what it would look like if you were to shine a really bright laser in your eye, that it wouldn't actually look blue or red, but it would just look white. But everybody knows that you never shine lasers in your own eye or anybody else's eye, because right after you saw that bright white light, then you'd see just black because you would have burned a hole into your eye, into your retina, and you won't be able to see anything after that. So never shine a laser in your eye or anybody else's eye. So instead of shining a laser into anybody's eye, I'm going to be shining it into my camera. So let's see if this laser, which is normally blue, looks white when I shine it directly into the camera. So you can see that before I shine it right in the camera, you can see this black background here. What happens when I shine the laser? You can see it just starts to smoke in the background. Okay, so we're gonna shine it directly into the camera. Three, two, one. Here we go. Try to hold it a little steadier in there. So look at the picture now. So it's getting, so you can still kind of see, but it's like grayed out now. Let's leave the light in there a little bit more. So it still slightly comes back. This is quite surprising that it's able to hold up. So you can see it's just very foggy. I'm actually surprised that it's still filming at all. It's pretty amazing because this laser is hot enough to burn. And so I was basically just burning the sensor with it, but it still is able to have some of the pixels still working. Okay, well, if light couldn't destroy the sensor, let's see if fire can. Here we go. So it's filming itself on fire. <laughs> so at this point, I'm just completely amazed. I thought that this would stopped working a long time ago, but somehow this little camera is still sensing color, still sensing light, it's still working basically. So, okay, so right after I took that last video, it actually stopped working. So that was its last little bit of life, 
able to record me still on this camera. It's pretty amazing actually and surprising. I thought this would be gone a long time ago. As soon as I shine the laser in there, I thought the sensor would be done. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And head over to theactionlab.com if you haven't yet to check out the new Action Lab subscription box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.